just about using your PC to mine crypto coins like Ethereum, right? Well, you've clicked on the right video. I'll be presenting an overview of the important things to know about mining with your PC and resources you can use to learn more about it. Blockchain and cryptocurrency are deep, complex subjects. It would be impossible to cover everything about it here in one video. This overview will provide you with a guide of what's important to know before you enter into the world of PC crypto mining. If you're not familiar with a term I mentioned in this video, search it up and discover. Knowledge is power. The intent of this video is to give you a high level understanding of what you need to learn and where you can find the information to help learn it. There are links in the description to get you started as well. Now I'm not suggesting anyone should or shouldn't mine crypto with a GPU. I personally choose to do it and I found it to be a good way to earn passive income. But of course, it's a matter of choice and the results will vary based on many factors. Over the past few years, I've learned a lot about this space, and I'd like to pass along to you what I've learned from both successes and mistakes. Now let's dive into the 10 things you need to know about mining crypto coins with your PC. Number one, never assume you know something about anything related to crypto mining without researching and confirming it. Cryptocurrency, mining, exchanges, DeFi, sending and receiving coins, blockchain in general are all technically complex subjects. Like anything else, Never assume you know how something works without confirming it. You'll read comments on social media all the time about people who lost money or had technical issues because they didn't know. Don't be like that. Always confirm how something works by figuring it out before you do it. It will take you time and effort to do this, but it's the best way to avoid making technical and financial mistakes. Proof of work, proof of stake, mining pools, cloud mining, hash rate, DAG file size, coin wallets, overclocking are all important to understand before mining. You're going to find out very quickly that cryptocurrency space is vast and ever-changing with many things to learn and keep up with. When learning about anything new within this space, I try to approach it in a way a detective would. Dig in and separate fact from the noise. Number two, acknowledge that PC crypto mining is a slow and steady endeavor. It's important to know upfront that PC mining is a long game. You may have one or two cards hashing a particular coin and it'll take time to accumulate. This isn't a get rich quick endeavor. Are you gonna get rich mining $100 worth of Ethereum each month? Of course not. Personally, I'm interested in the long haul and increasing my holdings of coins. You may wanna convert your coins to US dollars or euros right away or sell some and keep some or keep it all. The idea is that we have this GPU worker which can earn passive income for us while we're not using it to play games. The benefit is that you're using your graphics card to basically pay for itself over time. For example, if you mine Ethereum 10 to 12 hours per day and get rewarded, let's say $100 in Ethereum per month, you can see how this will add up. Now, I'm not a financial advisor, and we all know the price of Ethereum goes up and down. Thus, the value of any Ethereum coin you hold will fluctuate, but you see what I'm getting at. Number three, understand what your graphics card is doing when it's mining. Operation of the blockchain is the fundamental reason your GPU is needed. Let's take mining Ethereum, for example. When you connect your GPU to an Ethereum mining pool, you're making it available to the Ethereum blockchain system as a resource for solving very complicated math problems used to certify transactions on the Ethereum blockchain. The mining software that you use loads an algorithm into your GPU that does this. Every time a transaction happens on the Ethereum blockchain, these math problems have to be solved. When your GPU helps to solve one of these math problems, you earn reward paid to you in Ethereum. The reward actually goes into the mining pool first, then gets distributed to the miners in the pool via shares. This process is similar for many coins like Ravencoin, Zilliqa, and hundreds of others. Number four, take care of your graphics card. Hopefully you read the disclaimer in the beginning of this video. If you missed it, I recommend you rewind and read it. You are responsible for your own actions and how you configure your PC and graphics card. Always use caution and follow manufacturer's recommendations. One of the common questions I'm asked about PC mining is, will crypto mining put wear and tear on my graphics card? The answer is, any software application that uses extensive graphics will cause that GPU to heat up. Microsoft Flight Simulator, for example, may run your GPU at near 100%, even just in the menu system. Are you putting wear and tear on your GPU if you use Flight Simulator or Fortnite or Modern Warfare at high graphics? Of course you are. Normally your GPU has fans and it's always a good idea to keep it properly ventilated. When mining Ethereum, for example, I keep the GPU temps below 60 Celsius using around 70% of power. 
if you're careful about how you configure your GPU and keep the temps within manufacturer suggested ranges, I would argue that mining is the same as playing a PC game with ultra high res graphics. The bottom line, be careful when configuring your GPU and always follow manufacturer recommendations. Number five, keep your PC safe. Whether it's being used for mining, gaming, business, or personal use, theoretically any computer connected to the internet can be hacked. If a bad actor wants to get into your PC, they have many ways to accomplish this. Antivirus software is usually going to see mining software as unverified, so you'll have to download it by bypassing these notifications. And if you don't use a verified website to download mining software, you could introduce unwanted code onto your PC like malware. As with any computer connected to the internet, you need to be careful and take precautions. Now this is important. Never keep personal information, usernames, passwords, account numbers, things of that nature on your PC that you're using to mine with. If your personal information is not accessible, you have much less to worry about. Never use a browser on a PC that you use for mining to log on to an account that you want to protect. This is a standard practice that I always use. When you download mining software, always use a verified website. If you do manual verification, you can figure out the best website to download from. Most of the popular mining pool websites will have links to verified mining software. I suggest running virus scans and malware checks often on your PC just to make sure. Also, some mining pools allow you to use secure connections, so take advantage of that if that's what you're looking for. I know these are all common sense standard practices, but it's important to be vigilant about this on a PC that you're using to mine with. Number six, determine which coin or coins you'd like to mine. Whether your motivation is short-term profit or long-term investment, you need to figure out which coins you're going to mine. Most people mine Ethereum because it tends to be the most profitable and it has considerable development momentum behind it. However, there are many coins that have promise and can be profitable to mine as well. A popular tool used to determine profitability is the website whattomine.com. Here you can select your GPU, enter your electricity rate, and it will present a list of coins in order of estimated profitability. Keyword there is estimated. It's important to understand that factors affecting coins can change rapidly based on factors like market prices, and mining difficulty. You might want to get in the habit of checking what to mine once a day to keep tabs on these changes. It's a good idea to get familiar with all the features of this website. Personally, I always research the system behind a coin before I decide to mine it. I like to be familiar with what potential value the applications developed on that coin system will bring to people or businesses. So you might want to ask yourself, does this coin system have potential? And dig into the people and use cases behind it. Number seven, use YouTube to learn how to mine a particular coin. I like to live by the creed, if you don't know what you're doing, then don't do it until you know what you're doing. YouTube is a great place to learn how to do many things, including mining crypto coins. I suggest following the example of others who have mined that coin you're interested in mining. And reputable YouTubers can help you get started. They share their experiences, which you can learn from, like mining pools to use, GPU settings, expected hash rates, and other information. I have how-to videos on this channel on mining Ethereum, Zilliqa, and Ravencoin. You can also check out the links that I provided to the channels that I follow to learn about mining new and different coins. Number eight, beware of crypto-related scams. Right now, the crypto space is like the wild, wild west with many different coins, use cases, methods, and opinions. Don't get caught up in the fear of missing out and jump into something without doing proper due diligence. Know what you're doing before you do it. This is the best way to avoid scams. For example, if someone offers an opportunity that gives you back more coins than they are asking you to give them, it's very likely a scam. This may sound cynical, but I always assume something related to crypto is a scam until I verify that it isn't. Number nine, use a hardware wallet for long-term coin storage. Software wallets like Coinbase, Atomic Wallet, etc. are usually used to store coins as you mine them on a mining pool with your PC. These are wallets that live on the internet in the blockchain. People also use a hardware wallet to store coins off the internet. They will move coins from their software wallet to a hardware wallet, which is a physical device used to store crypto. This is thought to be a safer method of storage. There are multiple hardware wallets available like Ledger and Trezor, to name a few. If you decide to buy one, be sure to buy it direct from the manufacturer as there have been some instances of scams involving hardware wallets purchased from third parties. The general idea is to mine daily to a software wallet, then transfer your coins to a hardware wallet once you've accumulated a higher quantity. Number 10. Know how to get started, keep learning, and stay engaged. As I mentioned before, the best place to get started is by reviewing an example. 
I've created videos on how to start mining various coins, which you can find links to in the description. There are tons of videos on YouTube on how to configure your PC and GPU to mine a particular coin. YouTube, Facebook groups, Discord, Reddit offer some great content to help you get started and stay informed. It's very important to stay engaged, keep learning, and know what's going on, especially with coins you're mining. For example, Ethereum has been going through major changes and will continue to do so until Ethereum 2.0 is fully implemented. The Ethereum Improvement Proposal 1559, or EIP 1559, which is planned to be implemented in July of 2021, will lower mining rewards, among other changes, in an attempt to reduce Ethereum transaction fees. Ethereum 2.0's final phase will be to switch from proof-of-work, which is GPU mining, to proof-of-stake, which will eliminate Ethereum GPU mining altogether. There are differing opinions as to when Ethereum 2.0 will be fully implemented, but if you're going to mine Ethereum, it's important to understand what's coming. There are other coins to mine, though, like Ravencoin, which is designed to be mined by GPUs only, so be sure to know what's available to you. Now, I mentioned this in the beginning, but it deserves repeating. The cryptocurrency space is vast and constantly changing with many things to learn and keep up with. To help you get started, you'll find links in the description to help you learn and stay informed, and the rest is up to you. I hope the information presented in this video will help you make informed decisions when it comes to crypto mining. Who knows, you may even decide to venture into the world of building your own GPU rig. I'd love to hear about your PC mining experiences in the comments below, and please hit those like and notification buttons to help the channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.